Driving at night represents a significant potential danger. The reasons are obvious. Poor or limited sight conditions. Obstacles or narrow bends which are recognized too late with a low beam. Driving into the headlights of oncoming traffic, just to mention a few examples. The FLIR Systems Pathfinder Thermal Imaging Camera is an excellent tool to make driving at night significantly safer. The Pathfinder allows seeing up to five times further than standard headlights. Although some premium car manufacturers like BMW are already offering the Pathfinder as an option on selected models, it can also easily be installed in existing cars, trucks, buses and other types of vehicle. The aftermarket installation of a Pathfinder in a BMW X5 is just one example. In order to install the Pathfinder, the following components are needed. A FLIR Systems Pathfinder Thermal Imaging Camera A universal mounting bracket 6 meter detachable pigtail cable for routing the Pathfinder's power and video interface into a passenger compartment The necessary hardware to mount the Pathfinder A NAV TV video interface This interface creates an extra video input for the BMW iDrive LCD screen the NAV TV is only needed if you want to display the images of the Pathfinder on an existing multifunctional display. Power supply cables for the NAV TV. An interface cable between the NAV TV and the iDrive system. And a video cable to connect the Pathfinder to the NAV TV. Glass does not transmit infrared radiation. Therefore, the Pathfinder cannot be mounted behind the windscreen, but needs to be installed outside in the front of the car. The first step is to make a small hole in the front grille of the car, so that this is not obstructing the view from the Pathfinder. This measure is not necessary if there's already ample open space. Two small holes are drilled to install the mounting bracket. Next, the Pathfinder is firmly installed in its mounting bracket. Connect the Pathfinder to the pigtail cable. On the other end, the pigtail cable has a power in and a video out connection. Install the bracket. No need to adjust the height yet. Fine tuning will be done after the installation. The pigtail cable is routed under the hood and guided into the passenger compartment through an existing opening. No need to drill extra holes. The power and video cable are now inside the glove compartment. Now that the power and video cable of the Pathfinder are behind the glove compartment, everything under the hood can be put back in place. No need anymore to make connections under the hood. The next step is to remove the iDrive navigation screen from the dashboard in order to make the necessary connections. Cables are put in place to make the connection between the iDrive LCD and the NAV TV module. The interface cable and power supply cable and video cable are connected to the NAV TV. The NAV TV module is mounted in the space behind the glove compartment. The power supply of the NAV TV is connected to the original power supply cable of the iDrive screen. Both the iDrive screen and NAV TV are now getting their power from the same source. Although it's better to make these connections with a soldering iron, standard connectors can be used as well. The original iDrive cable that provides all functionalities of the iDrive system is connected to the interface cable of the NAV TV. This way, all signals of the iDrive systems are bypassed and going over the NAV TV system. The interface cable from the NAV TV is now connected to the iDrive LCD screen. Finally, the power supply of the iDrive LCD is reconnected. After this final connection, the iDrive LCD and other parts of the dashboard can be put back in their original place. 
The NAV TV module is hidden behind the glove compartment. The final step is to connect the power to the Pathfinder and the video cable from the Pathfinder to the NAV TV. The Pathfinder will send its images over the NAV TV to the iDrive screen. The images of the FLIR system's Pathfinder can now be displayed on the iDrive LCD screen. The iDrive system still has all functionalities. Radio, echo and GPS can be accessed in the same way as before. As an extra, by pushing the iDrive button, the images of the Pathfinder are now displayed on the LCD screen, either full screen or in combination with GPS indications. What remains to be done is adjust the height and position of the Pathfinder and tighten the mounting bracket. FLIR Systems markets a complete kit for installing the Pathfinder in existing vehicles. Apart from a Pathfinder, a mounting bracket and a pigtail cable, it also contains an LCD screen for users who don't want to connect the Pathfinder to an existing LCD screen. Equip your vehicle with the power of thermal imaging, install the Pathfinder, see up to five times further than with headlights and drive safer at night. <laughs>